this is our latest heat pump insulation. Um, it's a normal semi-detached property. Um, all open plan downstairs now. Three bedrooms and a bathroom upstairs. There's cavity wall, blown mineral wool. Um, under suspended flow insulation, 100 mil rock wool. Um, 300 mil insulation in the loft space and 50 mil insulation rock wall between the floors. So we fitted a six kilowatt Weizmann Vitacal. Heat loss was like 4.7 at minus three. So this is offset base, so we've got service access here, but I just didn't want to put slabs there. So we finished it and the slabs were nice and straight. Um, primary pro maintenance coat, we've got sleeving, we've got it sealed and then we've got the bonding rings on there. Um, 28 mil straight onto hoses. Uh, that's 40 mil because they're connections where we've gone from hose to copper. It's really some panda stones under there as a soak away. So as that drains off, defrost or condensate it won't go back down there. So downstairs is all open circuit. And what we'll do is just get a curve dialed in. We've used the Stellarad Vita Decos. Horizontal lines and horizontal ones. Vertical lines and the vertical. As you see, no TRVs because we'll get the curve all dialed in. I've tried all horizontals before and all the vehicles, but because it lines a mismatch, it, um, it annoys me. So um, that's how I, I do it now. For all the reasons that I'll take them. Equal calls. And there's no room upstairs in the plant room, so I've got to make it do down here. So all, all the house is all, you probably won't see, but it's all speed fit. So everything is speed fit and then 19 mil, um, cause speed fit were existing, um, 19 mil, trouble it on that we've got a 200 litre or sort of cylinder so well we're about to create this plant room we've got 50 mil pir 12 mil ply painted black stud work 100 mil pir with floor and just a concrete block i did want ply on there but for some reason they put concrete which annoyed hell out of me this is weisman unit internal it's a 150a um internet's not coming in yet but um if we go on, you can see his current curve, which is down at 0.6. I've dropped it a little bit below, and then what we'll do is we'll knock it up if the cold, but you'll find it might be all right there. Um, pressure gauge down there. Isolations for eating, isolations for the heat pump itself, um, fill and flush points to go through the buffer. Fill and, loop, fill and flush valve for eating. Magnet, there is a strainer in the outside unit. Um, we've got one phase of the backup heater wiring because there's an eight kilowatt backup heater in there. So you've got three or two and then a number three, but we just wire one phase in case it needs it. Immersion, which has gone into the bottom. So it's also a cylinder. I think the coil's 1.6 cubic meters. Um, there's two immersions, so I'm using bottom one because if I ever need to use that, we'll want a full recharge. Or if they ever go for solar PV and want to use that excess in summer, we can put it into the bottom and, and get that up. Um, hot water drawer off. This is all 13 mil um, Califlex self sealing. And what's going to go into here is um, a front with 50 mil PIR that's going to be pushed on there and pushed on there with magnets. So then when we service it, we can just we can just bring it back out. Uh, this costs 16.2 thousand uh, minus pre-grant, so 8,000 pound of our own money. Um, we should get quite a high return on the on the efficiency with this. Um, I'm hoping for for high fours, especially with being down at down at 40. But we'll we'll see how it we'll see how it goes.